Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about why I don't give my clients the name of the prosecutor. Now, in my entire career, I think I've had people ask me three or four times ever. And it scares me because it appears to me to be shady. What possible reason could a defendant in a criminal case need to know the prosecutor's name? Remember, it's the government. It's the state of Florida against the individual. It has nothing to do with an individual. It's not a personal vendetta, right? So I, clearly, I get scared. I go, are they going to try to intimidate them? Are they going to harass them? Are they going to try to bribe them? Are they going to try to shoot them or kill them? I mean, that's what goes through my mind. And I don't want, obviously, I don't want anything to ever happen to a prosecutor. And I don't want to be associated with anything that could possibly happen to a prosecutor. So, you know, I had years ago, it was the first person that, that, that ever asked me. And I go, what? Like, why do you need to know the prosecutor? And they wouldn't tell me, I go, listen, man, you're scaring me. I'm going to call the Florida bar and I'm probably going to have to call law enforcement um, because you're scaring me. I don't know what your intentions are and my thoughts are not good. And they go, no, 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 it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. I I'm into voodoo and I'm going to make a doll and I want to, I want to prick. I want to stick a pin into the prosecutor. I'm like, no, we don't do that shit. Like what? Y you can't make it up. I recently had a client ask me and I go, no, what, what? And he goes, what do you mean you're not going to give me the name? I go, the name is irrelevant. Doesn't matter what research you do. It doesn't matter what you think. But if you contact them, have someone else contact them, if they're harmed in any way, you're going to be harmed, right? You're going to be charged. Um, I don't want to get involved in that stuff. So I, I literally said to my client, I, like, you know, I scolded the client. I go, listen, if you need to know the prosecutor's name, I'm not your attorney. I will be calling the Florida bar and then based on what they tell me ethically to do, you don't, listen, they have a job to do. I have a job to do. I hope that you have the trust in me as an attorney to give you my absolute best, regardless of whether you did the crime, didn't do the crime, and what the mitigating factors are, what can I do to help you? I'm gonna give you my best. Concentrating on what the prosecutor's done in the past or their history or looking up their Facebook and TikTok and, and who knows whatever else, and maybe having someone talk to them that you know. Listen, my job is to defend you to the best of my ability. I don't know what other attorneys think. Listen, if you're an attorney and you're watching this, I don't know how you handle it. Quite frankly, it upsets me. I don't want to be involved in anything that's perceived as shady. And if that client didn't, you know, de-escalate and say, okay, okay, I understand. I'd be, on the far with the, I'd be on the phone with the Florida bar. I'd be on the phone. And then based on what they tell me, I'd be calling law enforcement. I'd be contacting, you know, the state attorney's office or, you know, the, the prosecutor's office. I, I, I don't get it. There, there's no logical. There's, in my mind, I go, could there be any logical? No. Your focus is on what we're doing, not on anything else. We're focusing on our defense and our legal arguments and doing it on a fair playing level. And I get it, you know, cops lie, that this and that. I, I know all the stuff, guys, listen. But if you hire me, I'm, I'm, doing it, I'm doing it my way. And if I'll give you options, like here's option A, here's option B, here's option C, and you choose which way, which direction we go, what road of travel, but I'm driving. And I'm sorry, if you're my client, uh, the prosecutor's name is irrelevant. So tell me what you guys think. Um, seems shady as shit to me. And uh, don't want anything to do with it. So tell me your thoughts. Maybe you think that they have a right to know. I think you have a right to know the discovery, the witnesses that are against you, see the transcripts, see the case law, see the arguments that maybe you're going, that, you know, the attorney's preparing to argue in court. Prosecutors change. You could have a prosecutor in January, a different prosecutor in March, a different prosecutor in October, et cetera. Like, they, they change. It, it's, not, it's not them. It's not Mr. Smith against you, the defendant. It is the state of Florida. So that, that's my thoughts. If you're my client, don't, don't ask me who the prosecutor is. 
um, because I'm not telling you. All right, tell me your thoughts. Am I crazy? Am I overly paranoid? Am I, you you tell me. I'm attorney Roger P. Foley. Have a great day. Stay safe and uh, do the right thing.